Hello, in this episode I have Zoom R16 for repair. This is a recorder, interface and controller which can uh, record up to 8 channels at the same time and play back up to 16 channels. Very handy piece of equipment. I wanted to have such a thing for a while, so I picked up a non-working unit on eBay. Let's see what's wrong with it. It was advertised as not powering up. Uh, here we have this uh, tiny power supply, also branded Zoom. Here, 5 volts, 1 amp. Now let's try plug this thing in. Here is the connector and power switch. And nothing, as advertised. Let's check the power supply first. Nothing. See how the output is pulsing. It seems like the power supply is trying to start up, but cannot. So this thing is dead. This thing can run on batteries, so let's try that. It takes six double uh, A's. So here I have freshly charged rechargeable ones. This way. Let's turn it on, and nothing. So, something seems to be wrong with the unit as well, not only just the power supply. I have a pile of power supplies here. I went through this pile and I found this supply. 5 volts, 2 amps, which is more than enough, and most importantly, a connector which fits and the center positive. Let's check this supply just in case. No problem at all. So let's try with this supply. Turn the unit on and nothing. So it's time to look inside. All right, removed a bunch of screws here on the bottom and here and next to each input connector as well. So now we should be able to lift the cover and there is some connector here. Oh, it was the power from the batteries. Here we are. It seems to me that the second board is the controller and the power circuitry is on the main board, on the big board somewhere in this area and maybe on the other side as well so we need to lift this um, board off to have a look let's have a closer look at this digital board before we remove it this is da vinci tms320 this is altera max 2 this must be flash for it this chip is marked mira and uh, I believe it must be main memory, but I'm not entirely sure. And a couple of smaller chips. Alright, this was easy. Just four plastic clips, uh, this power connector, and uh, still attached three ground wires. And nothing interesting really on this side of this board. 
and not much under it, just this small chip and the rest must be on the other side of the big board. To remove this big board uh, we need to remove all the knobs here and here and this encoder knob and now I need to remove this nut. Alright, so after removing those knobs and nut and some screws here I should be able to lift off this big board and something is still attached. Let's see. Oh, these are two microphones on each side. Here is one and here is the other one. All right, here we are. Oh, and this ground wire has broken off, but I can fix it later. So I put back that digital board and uh, I don't have a suitable connector uh, for power, so I soldered this um, pair of wires uh, to run the thing from a lab supply. So here it is and uh, I set it to 5 volts, 0.8 amps and uh, here we are. It draws about 322 milliamps and there are no signs of life whatsoever. After some probing around, it seems to me that power rails are fine. I see a 6 volt rail for analog stuff and I see this 3.3 um, volt uh, converter to run digital stuff, including this microcontroller. And I don't see any activity at all. No LEDs lighting up, nothing like that. So it's time to probe with an oscilloscope. After probing around with the scope, uh, it seems to me that something is wrong with this microcontroller. It gets 3.3 volt power and there is this uh, 20 megahertz ceramic oscillator and there is no oscillation there at all. And there is also this uh, 32 kilohertz crystal and there is no oscillation there as well. So it seems to me that the micro is dead and I don't like my chances because there is a firmware in it and uh, even if I could find a replacement chip the firmware is most probably unavailable unless there is a way to read it from a working unit but I wouldn't count on that uh, this is uh, NEC D78F0536 micro nothing special just a regular 8-bit microcontroller I checked on DigiKey and Mouser they are not available but uh, without the firmware that would be useless anyway. Looking closer at the microcontroller I see a tiny dot here on the case which might be a burn mark but I'm not sure perhaps that power supply died and produced some sort of a spike on the power rails and the micro burned because of that but it is impossible to know for sure I'm going to call this a fail for now I hope the investigation was interesting anyway not every repair is successful and I don't want my viewers to get an impression that I succeed every time. Thanks for watching. Bye.